Mother. Be sure to finish your book report before you watch TV, dear. I will, Mom. These Arabian Night stories are real neat. Gee, with Luno, my magic horse, maybe I could... Oh, winged horse of marble white, take me on a magic flight. <laughs> Shh. Easy, Luno, or Mom will hear you. Sorry, Tim. I just got carried away. I've been reading some wonderful stories called The Arabian Nights, and I thought... Say no more, Tim. Here we go! Whee! I'm glad you chose the Arabian Nights, Tim. You'll have a chance to meet Sinbad the Sailor. Wow! Sinbad the Sailor. Why, he was the greatest adventurer of all times. We're coming to his castle now. Oh, Sinbad! Oh, who's, who's that? Who's that? Oh, it's you, Luno. Oh, thank goodness you're here. What's wrong? Oh, oh, you just don't know the trouble I've been having with that blasted rock. Oh, the stories I can tell you. Oh, it's dreadful, simply dreadful. He means a rock, Tim, spelled R-O-C. It's a giant mythological bird. Look out! <laughs> There, there, see, see, I can't even retire in peace. Those evil birds are cowards, Sinbad. If you show no fear and fight back, he'll leave you alone. Oh, fight, of course, but not now. I have to check the hot water here in the cellar. Good luck, Sinbad. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. As soon as I overtake him, use your sword. Sinbad the sailor was brave. I still haven't lost faith in him, Tim. But right now, we'll have to figure out how to lure that evil bird out of hiding. He'll stay there till you're gone and attack me when I'm helpless again. I have a great idea. The rock will never be able to resist Sinbad's boat as a target. This could be dangerous, Tim. With you ready to attack the minute he appears, I'm perfectly safe. I hope. I have a feeling I'm being watched. Timmy! 
Yes, Mom? How's your book report coming, dear? I'm just about ready to start. You see, we had to help Sinbad get rid of the giant rock first. What an imagination. It should be an interesting book report. Oh, it will. It will. It will.